Guys, do not show J.D. Vance this couch. Do not show J.D. Vance this couch, guys, okay? None of your cushions are safe. None of your ottomans are safe. None of your couches are safe. All right? But this one, this couch in particular, is not safe. Okay? So no matter what you do, no matter what you do, don't. All righty. On the topic of... Uh, on the topic of... Uh, Couch Ussy, for anyone who's like, what are you guys talking about? What, what the fuck is this? What are you talking Huh? Well, here's the timeline of events summarized by a Twitter user. Some random guy tweeted that JD Vance wrote about having with a rubber glove stuffed between in between the cushions of a couch in Hillbilly Elegy as a joke. People believe it because it's a coming of age story. Not that preposterous that a horny teenager would do this. It goes viral. Memes about JD smashing a couch spread like wildfire. AP fact checks the whole thing with the headline, no, JD Vance did not have for the couch. Let's see it. I'm sure there's an archive of it somewhere. Archive AP. They then delete the article. Because while they determined that the original tweet was a fabrication, they can't actually verify that he definitely has never had sex with a couch. Ah, of course. Now, let me see if I can find archive. Here's a Rolling Stone article on it. So what's with this rumor that J.D. Vance had with a couch? The viral allegation that Trump VP pick wrote about pleasuring himself between two couch cushions is funny, but false. Sounds like something a couch would say. Mm. Stop it, Rolling Stone. I will not give you money. The way that this starts is so amazing. Oh my God. Vice presidential hopeful J.D. Vance would like to be having a brat summer, but he is instead facing accusations of pushing the cushions of an unfortunate sofa. Social media has been inundated with jokes and memes suggesting Vance once pleasured himself between two couch cushions. What goes on between a man and his couch is between him, God, and whatever sexy sectional he chooses to victimize. And while we can't definitively state that Donald Trump's running mate has never engaged in some furniture fornication, the viral allegation that Vance wrote about having sex with a couch in his 2016 memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, is fake. On July 15th, the Ohio senator was confirmed as Trump's 2024 running mate. Uh, Twitter user Rick Rude Scalves wrote that day, they can't be sure, but Vance might be the first vice president pick to have admittedly in a New York Times bestseller to an inside out latex glove shoved between two couch cushions. Let's see Paul Allen's card. Let's see what the Zoomers have to say about this. Zoomers, go ahead, play your videos. For those listening along, there's some music and Footage of J.D. Vance that gets zoomed in and then footage of a couch that gets zoomed in and then footage. It's just it's just an image of J.D. Vance followed by an image of a couch. And it looks very erotic. Barry White is not music. Oh, yeah. I disagree. Oh, here's the deleted article. No, J.D. Vance did not have sex with a couch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the deleted article. False. He did not write about performing such an act in his book. A searchable PDF of the memoir includes 10 mentions of the word couch or couches, none of which are related to the accounts of salacious escapades. Some social media users have claimed the story appears on pages 171, or sorry, 179 to 181, 
where Vance actually writes about his first days as a freshman at the Ohio State University. Oh, yeah, what was he doing as a freshman? In someone's couch, perhaps. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> as the Ohio senator sets out on the campaign, campaign trail as the GOP's vice presidential nominee, social media users are making false claims about the contents. <laughs> the, imagine people are saying that your book that's titled A Memoir of Family and Culture in Crisis, and people are claiming that you said you couch in the middle of that is amazing. Is amazing. But I am pleased to inform you guys that we moved on from couches to dolphins, apparently. Now, I didn't even hear about this. Twitch chat just informed me of this. J.D. Vance ridiculed after dolphin-based social media post backfires. Ooh. Ooh. Let's check his Twitter account, shall we? I want to get to the source of this. Let's get to the source of this. Where is this? <laughs> wait, I haven't seen this. Wait, wait, wait. JD Vance walks through an Ikea. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God. Okay. We have a, do we have a link on this, uh, this dolphin? <laughs> Did he delete it? This was on Saturday. JD Vance. Dolphin. Uh oh. <laughs> he didn't delete it. This was ages ago. Oh, they're bringing it back. <laughs> Maybe the internet was a mistake. And it's a screenshot of a tweet from the Twitter page, Crazy Clips. And um, Twitter does this thing. If you're searching for a particular tweet, it'll bold the words in the tweet. And the sentence from this screenshot reads, woman gets violated by a dolphin and enjoys it. And it's a video that we can't see. But the words woman and dolphin are bolded. My guy was searching for the terms woman and dolphin. <laughs> the problem, according to commenters, was that the words woman and dolphin were highlighted in the image, suggesting that whoever took the screenshot apparently searched for those exact terms. Why were you searching for dolphin porn, my guy? Asked user Matt Ortega. <laughs> Maybe he was searching for The Little Mermaid, but he didn't remember the, the movie title correctly. He's like, The Little Mermaid, uh, Woman, Dolphin. No, come on, let's be real. If he was looking for The Little Mermaid, the word black would be in there somewhere. Because that was at the time where everyone was really mad that The, the Little Mermaid wasn't going to be white. So that had to be in there. Remember that Vance is in a group chat with far-right 16-year-old? <gasps> This is, this has to be doctored. No, this is too crazy to be real. Like, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not that it's too crazy that a conservative would be that, I believe. It's that a conservative would ever think that they could learn from the younger generation. That doesn't seem real. Wormy, don't, don't put your, okay, she almost put her paws on the power button. Goodbye, Wormy. He writes, yo, Akron Caleb is thirsty. 
and someone else says, Caleb, it's over. And then JD Vance writes, just practicing my cool kid lingo with the simps chat. This hat, I can't, no. No, no, no. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No. I need more proof. I need more proof before I believe that. No one show this to JD Vance. <laughs>